My name is Norik Shikata, uh, Deputy Cabinet Secretary for Public Relations at uh, Prime Minister's Office. Let me uh, just at the outset uh, uh, recap some of the, the comments uh, made by uh, Chief Cabinet Secretary uh, Mr. Edano uh, today. Uh, at the press conference that he held uh, from uh, uh, 4 p.m., he made a reference to uh, following uh, three points. <clears throat> Number one is uh, regarding uh, unit number two of uh, uh, Fukushima Daiichi. Uh, he mentioned uh, that the regarding the highly contaminated uh, st stagnant water uh, detected in the unit two, there has been a report uh, from the Nuclear Safety Commission that it is assumed that the water that had been in contact with a temporarily melted fill uh, in the containment vessel may have uh, been leaked. Uh, directly out through a certain route. And, um, um, and he further mentioned that regarding the leakage of such water, uh, he has not received any report from the Nuclear Safety Commission that the pressure vessel uh, in the containment vessel was breached. Uh, regarding the issue of um, uh, the, f uh, the food safety, uh, he mentioned uh, that uh, Japan's uh, provisional standard values uh, for the radioactive levels of uh, agricultural products, including vegetables, have been set based on the standard values established under the International Commission on Radiological Protection, ICRP. The provisional standard values are precautionary measures, uh, even if a person continues to intake the radioactive uh, levels exceeding the Japanese uh, provisional standard values for one year, it would not pose uh, risks to uh, the human health. Um, and just a, a few points uh, 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 from uh, his uh, uh, morning uh, press conference uh, from 11.30. Uh, uh, regarding uh, the residents of uh, the evacuation designated area within 20 kilometers of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, he mentioned it has been reported that the residents who evacuated from within 20 uh, kilometer radius of the nuclear power plant have entered the evacuation zone to pick up their belongings. Uh, he urges uh, them never to enter the area without permission because uh, there is a, uh, a big potential risk of uh, uh, radiation exposure. At the same time, he, he, he mentioned that uh, uh, he thinks that temporary entry to the evacuation zone within the 20 kilometer radius from the nuclear plant might be possible in the future under certain conditions. Uh, we continue to conduct monitoring and if the radiation levels in the air of the region are stabilized, we may be able to allow the residents to go back to a certain area of the ev evacuation zone for a short period of time. Um, and uh, that's uh, all from uh, myself uh, regarding uh, uh, the comments uh, made by uh, Mr. Idano today. And uh, now I'd like to turn to uh, Mr. Nishiyama of uh, NI, uh, uh, NIST. Hey, thank you, Mr. Shikata. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'd like to update uh, the status of um, the plants um, of uh, Fukushima number one site. Uh, first, uh, uh, with respect to reactors, uh, first of all, uh, temperature of the uh, pressured vessel of the unit one uh, slightly went up and we adjusted the amount of uh, pure water introduced there. Uh, this uh, uh, unit one uh, still have, we have some concern about uh, the temperature and the pressure and its, uh, their balance. Regarding the replacement of fine fire engines, uh, replacement of fire engines with tentative electricity driven pumps powered by a generator, we have a sequence starting with unit two, which was finished yesterday because we took opportunity of changing from tentative pure water pool to permanent pure water pool. And uh, we'll do the same thing for unit three on March 28th and unit one 
on March 29th. Uh, this means we will uh, change from uh, fire engine driven uh, water introduction to uh, electricity driven uh, water uh, inst introduction. Next, uh, spent fuel pool. Regarding spent fuel pool, we plan to replace uh, seawater with pure water on March 29th. Next, uh, electricity restoration. With respect to electricity restoration, uh, examples of activities are confirming integrity of direct current power distribution, placing cables for monitoring posts and other instruments. A fourth item is a highly radiated water pool, a stagnated water in units one through four. Regarding unit one, we have been pumping up the radiated uh, stagnant water to condensate tanks. We increased, uh, increased the number of pumps from one to three yesterday. For units two and three, we have been searching appropriate ways to remove the radiated water in a way isolated from the outside environment. In this context, uh, today, uh, uh, from yesterday to today, uh, we found uh, highly radiated water uh, in the trench adjusted adjacent to the turbine building. And we are now thinking about uh, and uh, uh, searching uh, the contents of the uh, newly found uh, water in the trench. However, uh, basically, we think that uh, removing uh, stagnant water uh, in the turbine building will also contribute to deal with this water in the trench. Uh, lastly, I'd like to comment on uh, radiated materials in the seawater uh, which was uh, obtained in the uh, vicinity of uh, the uh, canal of uh, the number one site. Uh, from the seawater samples obtained near the canal attached to the units five and six, not one through four, five and six, we found uh, 1,150 1, times of uh, iodine-131 uh, compared with uh, maximum density to be uh, detected in the ordinary atmosphere. On the other hand, uh, the level of radiated materials detected in the seawater near the canal attached to the units one through four is not so high as we detected in the past. We'll strengthen uh, monitoring efforts for the seawater and other areas. That's all for my report today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nishiyama. Then uh, I'd like to ask uh, uh, Mr. Itaru Watanabe of next uh, to uh, have an op open remarks. Well, uh, next, continuing uh, monitoring activities on the land uh, around around uh, the uh, nuclear power plant and uh, or, or, or ev every prefecture in Japan and uh, uh, and the monitoring at the offshore o offshore seawater uh, monitoring about the 30 km kilometer from the uh, nuclear power plant and the airborne um, uh, monitoring continuing and the uh, updated data is uh, you can see on the uh, web page of MEX and uh, uh, I'd like to add uh, one point uh, new data of uh, the results of the sea monitoring uh, the 
result is uh, stable or a little declining uh, of the radioactivity uh, on on the uh, sample uh, uh, sample gained uh, at the yesterday. That uh, this is uh, my today's first uh, point. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Watanabe. Then uh, let's uh, move on to uh, Mr. Masanori Shinano of uh, uh, Nuclear Safety Commission. Thank you. I'm from the Nuclear Safety Commission, and I would like to make two reports, and I have brought two written materials. Uh, the first set of paper is bilingual. Uh, there's English and Japanese. Uh, this is the advice that our commission has provided to the government earlier this morning uh, today. And the next uh, material is a daily report of the evaluation of environmental radiation monitoring results. And I'd like to begin with this evaluation of environmental radiation monitoring results. I shall be very succinct. Since it's a daily report, I would only highlight uh, any difference vis-a-vis uh, -vis last yesterday. Uh, for your information, the original report in Japanese it was published at 6.45 in the evening uh, yesterday. And this is a data as of 4 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. So the data as of 4 o'clock uh, was evaluated by a commission and made public. The findings made public at 6.45. First, the spatial radiation dose rate. We have not observed any difference. The second is radioactivity in the air. Uh, there were some points which uh, sh have shown uh, the increase, but again, would like to assure you, it does not have any impact on human health. The third is the aviation monitoring. Now, since we did not have a new set of data yesterday, uh, we have not conducted any evaluation today. Uh, but for your information, we have included the evaluation we have made vis-a-vis -vis the data of day two days ago. The fourth is the environmental samples. Uh, we have looked at the uh, the fallout, soil fallout and sea, sea water. There has not been any uh, material change. And the uh, top water and uh, food, we believe that we will have to continue to monitor. The fifth is the radioactivity level by prefecture. For the spatial radiation dose rate, no significant change has been observed. Again, it will not affect people's health. For the drinking water or tap water, uh, we would like to invite other people to be always uh, be aware of the information related with the requirement announced by MHLW. As far well as uh, the data put together by MEXT is concerned, Uh, drinking water, tap water measurement uh, below uh, the standard level or regulated level, but we believe that we will have to continue to be vigilant and continue the monitoring. This is the report that we have put to together on the results of the uh, evaluation. Let me turn to this another piece of paper. <laughs> The Nuclear Safety Commission uh, formulated its opinion uh, to the government uh, on the elevated radiation levels in water uh, which were discovered on the underground floor of the turbine building at Unit 2, which was 100,000 times more than water ordinary found in reactors. In Unit 2, as was explained earlier, it seems that the water within the containment vessel uh, which had come into contact uh, with the water was directly released out of the containment through an unidentified pathway. In addition, the radiation uh, levels in the air, the radiation levels in the air have been limited to the areas inside buildings and have not been detected outside of the buildings. 
And even if the leakage of water uh, from the reactor core continues, it will be impossible uh, to uh, continue to cool it by injecting water using temporarily installed pumps. However, uh, because the ambient dose rate in the uh, basement floor of uh, the turbine building is very high, uh, we have to promptly remove the stagnant water. At the same time, uh, we should pay due uh, heed uh, to radiation protection for the workers. And the last paragraph, this is the NSC's biggest concern. That is, that we have to prevent the tainted water from leaking into the underground soils, water, and seawater. And uh, for this uh, purpose, the NSC is determined to uh, request not only to take all measures to prevent the leaks, but also to undertake underground water samplings, as well as more precise seawater samplings. Uh, so uh, that's the gist of the Nuclear Safety Commission's advice, which was formulated this morning and delivered to the government. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shinano. Now uh, let's move on to uh, Ms. Noriko Iseki of MHLW. I would like to briefly provide test results reported yesterday, 27th March from Fukushima, Niigata, Tochigi, Gunma, and Yamagata prefecture. In total, 33 samples were tested and found that the provisional regulation limits were not exceeded. I would also uh, sum up the results of tests reported uh, from 19th to 27th March. In total, 531 samples were tested and 99 test results were found to be exceeding the regulatory limits. In detail, 76 veg leafy vegetables, for example, spinach and uh, some other vegetables, such as broccoli, uh, as well as 23 fresh raw milks. Those are found to be exceeding the regulatory limits. In other products, for example, fish, meat, egg, leek, cucumber, strawberry, etc., uh, were all below the limit. Thank you. Then uh, lastly, uh, Ms. Matsunaga of uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Shikata. As always, I'd like to explain about uh, additional information about overseas assistance generously extended to Japan. Firstly, please refer to the colorful chart, map chart, uh, which indicate the locations of activities by rescue teams and uh, uh, some others. Uh, as you see, many of them have already completed their activities, but uh, there are some which are still in operation. And uh, you, as you see, the medical rescue team, uh, medical assistance team uh, provided by Israel, as I explained yesterday, is in activity in Miyagi Prefecture. More specifically, they are working in Minami Sanriku town of the prefecture. And uh, as I indicated in Previously, the rescue team of the Republic of India is scheduled to arrive tonight. Uh, secondly, please refer to the uh, long matrix which explains the assistance in kind. Uh, this is the list of assistance for the provisions of uh, materials and relief supplies. I refrain from uh, explaining the contents of the matrix. I just rather would like to add s some latest information with respect to uh, relief supplies. Uh, one of them is the uh, provision of mobile generators 
from the Republic of Korea. Uh, it is the uh, four, four generators, mobile generators, uh, planned to arrive Yokohama port yesterday, uh, tomorrow. And uh, each generator uh, produce 1.4 megawatt and uh, it is provided by, uh, it is the outcome of the close coordination between TEPCO and Hyundai. It is the generator made by Hyundai and uh, uh, it is these generators are provided by the government of Republic of Korea. And uh, I understand these mobile generators will be used uh, in the area under the responsibility of TEPCO. Uh, next, I'd like to explain about the additional uh, provision of supply, relief supply from the United Kingdom. Uh, in addition to the rescue team uh, provided, uh, uh, dispatched by the United Kingdom government, uh, relief supply is arriving today, this afternoon. Uh, the supply consists of 100 tons of uh, drinking water. Uh, they are scheduled to arrive at 9 p.m. tonight. And uh, <clears throat> in addition, I also would like to mention the second batch of relief supply from the People's Republic of Korea. Uh, they have already uh, provided first batch of relief supply on uh, 14th of March. That consisted of 900 pieces of tent as well as 2,000 uh, pieces of blanket and also 200 pieces of lantern. This time, uh, the People's of Republic of Korea, uh, People's, Rep Rep People's Republic of China is providing uh, 60,000 bottles of mineral water as well as 3.25 million pairs of disposal rubber gloves. And these, are, these supplies are provided for the use in Ibaragi Prefecture, as well as through Japan Red Cross. Uh, lastly, I'd like to add uh, two countries which expressed the intention for monetary donation. These are Iceland and Serbia. That's all from me. And we are very grateful for all these assistance. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, now let's uh, open the floor to questions. Uh, Christoph. Süddeutsche Zeitung, Christoph Neidhardt. Question for Mr. Nijiyama. Uh, yesterday there was this weird uh, iodine-134 measurement that you said uh, the ratio between 134 and 131 in the stagnant water wasn't correct and it was later corrected. Do you have an explanation for that mistake? Uh, and how that could happen to TEPCO. And you've not mentioned uh, block three and four today and yesterday. No, block four, sorry. Uh, today and yesterday, except for the uh, spent fuel rod uh, pool. Is block four totally under control? ギリギリ、ギリギリ、ギリギリ、ギリギリ、ギリギリ、ギリギリ、ギリギリ、ギリギリ、ギリギリ、ギリギリ、ギリギリ、ギリギリ、ギリギリ、ギリギリ、ギ
、あのー、4番にかおそらく4号機の話だと思いますが、えー、4号機に関しては今日も昨日も全く言及されていませんあの4号機に関しては使用済み燃料プール以外の点には全く触れておられないんですけれども昨日も今日も、えー、それは4号機は完全にもうコントロールカーに置かれたからということでしょうか。まずあの、東京電力があのデータを I100 要素の134について訂正いたしました、その誤りの原因としてあの東京電力が言っておりますのは、あのまずデータの見方について、この今の地震の後,に後であるがための,その複雑なデータの読み方が、必ずしもうまくできなかったということとそのことについて組織的にチェックするシステムができていなかったということとのこの2つが主な原因だったと思いますで経済産業省原子力安全保安院はこれらの点について改めるように指導いたしましたまず Uh, the fact that TEPCO revised uh, their uh, number for iodine 134.、Uh, as the cause of this mistake,、uh, TEPCO、uh, is telling us uh, that uh, the first cause of the mistake uh, is uh, the way in which the data、uh, is was uh, read. Uh, ever since the occurrence of the earthquake,、uh, the reading of the data has become very complicated uh, and uh, Uh, the reading of this very complicated data was not properly done is the first reason that TEPCO is giving us. And the second reason that TEPCO has given us、uh, is that they did not have an、uh, organizational、uh, system to check、uh, the reading of the data. Uh, so uh, these、uh, are considered to be the two main causes、uh, for the mistake、uh, in the data. And、uh, NISA, the Nuclear and Industrial、uh, Safety Agency,、uh, has given guidance to TEPCO、uh, to improve、uh, these two、uh, factors. So, the Yongo Kinitsi, 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 the 熱を持ちやすい状況なので、そこを適切に冷やすことが重要ということで、その点については、あの度重なるあの水を導入することによって、海水を導入することで、えー、今、手当ができていると思っています。Uh, the reactor of unit number four had already uh, been moved. Uh, I mean, all of the fuel uh, in uh, uh, the reactor of unit number four had been moved already、uh, to the spent fuel pool. And therefore,、uh, there is no need uh, to deal uh, with the reactor itself. Uh, but rather,、uh, since all of the fuel had been、uh, moved to the spent fuel pool, the spent fuel pool、uh, in unit number four、uh, is prone uh, to uh, increase its temperature, and that is why it is important、uh, to appropriately cool the spent fuel pool in the case of unit number four. And uh, after uh, repeatedly uh, injecting uh, and uh, pouring, Uh, seawater uh, over the uh, spent uh, fuel pool of unit number four,、uh, we have、uh, been able to successfully deal with the situation. Uh, uh, let me just、uh, add regarding uh, the, your first question、uh, that Mr. Edano mentioned uh, that uh, this morning、uh, at the press conference that.、Uh, There was a Uranus、uh, reporting about the radiation levels in stagnant water at unit number two. Reporting ap appropriate、uh, radioactive readings is an in indispensable、uh, prerequisite for taking various safety measures. Such an er error is unacceptable. The government urged、uh, TEPCO not to repeat such a mistake and to take、uh, thorough measures against preventing another Uranus、uh, reading.、Uh, okay. uh, 
Uh, yeah, Mr. Uh, Nishiyama, does that mean we have to assume that some TEPCO, uh, this is a false positive uh, measurement, that some TEPCO measurements so far might be false negative in the same dimensions that TEPCO has measured? Uh, obviously, TEPCO's measurement is not reliable. Is that the conclusion correct?あの、考えるんですけれども、一応東京電力はあの、これまでのデータもチェックするとは言ってますけれども、基本的にあの問題はその今の複雑なデータの読み方にあったというふうに考えています。this uh, uh, time uh, the cause uh, was the mistake uh, in how to read uh, the complicated data uh, which uh, is involved uh, in the analysis of nuclides. Uh, for the other data, such as a measurement uh, for the level of do uh, radiation or the dose rate, uh, the, work, the measurement work is done uh, uh, under a proper working uh, environment. Uh, TEPCO is saying uh, that they will recheck uh, other data as well, uh, but the main problem uh, that was encountered in this case uh, was a mistake in reading the very complicated uh, data uh, that had to be handled. Richard. Richard Lloyd Parry of the Times. Uh, this may be a question for Mr. Nishiyama or Mr. Shikata. Uh, the, the environmental organization Greenpeace has been taking radiation measurements uh, with a team of experts in Fukushima Prefecture uh, and they've reported that in the town of Itate, they have detected very high levels of uh, radiation, as high as 10 millisieverts or, or higher. Uh, and they claim that these measurements, uh, which are at a distance 40 kilometers from the nuclear power station, are higher than measurements in some places uh, much closer than that, uh, and they further claim that um, this represents a danger to the population and that this area should be evacuated in the same way that places closer to the reactor have been evacuated. Could you comment please on, on those measurements and, uh, and tell us why Itate has not been evacuated? And I have a second question, but shall I ask that now? Um, プリスタリミチョス、え、10ミリシーベルとあるいはそれ以上の高いレベルの放射能を検出したと報告しております。え、で、え、グリーンピースが主張するにはその測定が取られた位置、場所というのは、え、原子力発電所から40キロの地点であり、え、あ、あります。え、
人,人間にとって危険がある場所だということを示していると主張しております。なのでこの40キロ圏も他の今避難区域となっている場所と同様に避難区域にすべきだということをグリーンピースは主張しておりますけれどもこのグリーンピースが行った放射能レベルの測定に関してコメントをお願いしたいのが1点2つ目はなぜ飯舘市が避難地域になっていないのかを伺いたいと思います。我々もあのその福島県内やあの全国にわたってあのモニタリングをしておりまして、この飯舘市について、飯舘村ですか、ここについては、あの他と比べると比較的高い値が出るというのは、すでにあの分かっております。We also have been undertaking monitoring in Fukushima Prefecture as well as other areas nationwide.、Uh, and we are already aware uh, that uh, Iidate a Village tends uh, to uh, give a reading、uh, that is higher、uh, compared to other locations. So, the Genzaino Kono Chiki de Nitsite, Atashtomo no Nippon Kokuna Hakatir, Data Nioreba. 大体まあ50多くても50マイクロシーベルト前後の値になっています。And regarding this area in question, according to the data that has been measured by Japan, are the data that we have is a level at most of 50 micro sieverts in the area that you have indicated. グリーンピースの方々が測った時のその測定のタイミングとか測定の方法とかがわからないのでコメントが難しいですけれどもあの我々としては基本的にはあのグリーンピースのデータはあの信頼できる測定とは思えません。And it is difficult for us to comment on the measurement taken by Greenpeace because we do not know at what timing and what method was used. Uh, for uh, the measurement done by Greenpeace.、Uh, uh, we, we would have to say, however,、uh, that basically speaking,、uh, the measurements uh, that uh, have been reported、uh, by Greenpeace we cannot, we cannot、uh, consider、uh, to be a reliable measurement. そのグリーンピースのデータのようではありませんけれども、えー、比較的高いあの値が出ているのであの自発的に避難されている方があの多くなっておりまして、えー、ほとんど今はその地域に住んでいる方はあのいらっしゃらない状況です。Uh, this is not Greenpeace data,、uh, but generally speaking,、uh, measurements show、uh, a relatively high level in the area around Iidate village. And so、uh, many people、uh, living in this village have already、uh, voluntarily evacuated. And so there are hardly any people uh, actually uh, residing and living in this area anymore at the moment.、Okay. Um. Uh, Andrew. Uh, Andrew Morse, The Wall Street Journal. This is a question for Mr. Nishiyama. Mr. Nishiyama, how, how big, how significant is the trouble at the number two unit?、Um, uh, do you think that there is damage to the RPV? And with regards to the water that's building up in the trench, are you concerned that it might flow into the broader environment, including the sea? Thank you. ウォールストリートジャーナルのものですけれども、西山審議官に伺います、2号機が抱えている問題というのは、どのぐらい大きな問題、どのぐらい意義深い、あのまあどのぐらいの大きな問題だと思っておられますか、それとあの圧力容器に損傷が出ていると、損傷があの生じているとお考えでしょうか、それとあのトレンチに溜まっている水ですけれども、これが、あの海などの外部の環境に流れていくことに関して懸念をお持ちでしょうか、えっと、まず2号機につきましては、えー、あの
格納容器の方の圧力抑制室サプレッションチェンバーにおいてあの爆発音が聞こえたという事実がありましてしたがってこの格納容器の一部であるサプレッションチェンバーのところでに毀損している可能性があります。Uh, regarding unit number two,、uh, we do have the fact uh, that uh, a sound of explosion has been heard、uh, around the su suppression chamber、uh, of the pressure vessel of unit number two. And accordingly, there is the possibility that the suppression chamber, which is part of the pressure, vol、uh, pressure vessel, may have been damaged. The、uh, 圧力容器についてはあの我々の方ではあの圧力容器から、えー、格納容器に、えー、何らかの形でその燃料の、ね、まず燃料が若干損傷してますので、えー、その燃料が損傷した時の、えー、放射性物質が格納容器の方に出ているということはあの、えー、十分あり得ると思ってますけれどもそれ以上に、えー、圧力容器があの、えー壊れているかどうかについてははっきりとしたデータがありません。And regarding the pressure vessel, first of all, from first of all, when the fuel was damaged slightly, it is possible that radioactive material flowed from the pressure vessel to the containment vessel. Uh, but other than that,、uh, we don't、uh, have any、uh, clear cut data that shows any damage to the pressure vessel. So, the pressure vessel is not going to be able to get the pressure vessel 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 to get the Uh, and regarding、uh, the concern of the stagnant water、uh, with high level of radioactivity flowing into the sea, at the moment、uh, we do not observe uh, any uh, such flow of,、uh, into the sea. Uh, and uh, we intend uh, to move uh, the highly radioactive water uh, safely uh, to an isolated location in order to prevent、uh, it flowing into the sea. Jonathan Sobel of the Financial Times.、Uh, I'd like to actually just clarify something、uh, from Andrew's question.、Uh, it sounds like yours, if, if the damage is to the suppression chamber in unit number two, then it seems unlikely that、uh, water that would have come directly into contact with the fuel, which is inside the,、uh, the pressure vessel, in,、uh, would have flown out. So, is, am I right in understanding that? Your interpretation of what is happening inside that unit is different from、uh, the Nuclear Safety Council's. They're, they're suggesting that water that has come in direct contact with the fuel inside has come out, which suggests that there is some kind of breach in the pressure vessel. I mean, are, are we have, do we have <coughs> excuse me, competing interpretations here? えっと、FT のものですけれども、一つ先ほどの質問に対して確認をしたいんですけれども、あの今の話ですと、2号機のサプレッションチェンバーが既存しているということですと、その、えっと、圧力容器内で、直接燃料に接触した水が流れ出る可能性はないように思うんですけれどもですので西山審議官の解釈は原子力安全委員会の解釈と違うという理解で正しいんでしょうか原子力安全委員会の解釈というのはあの直接えー、あの圧力容器内で燃料に接触したものが直接出ているのではないかということはすなわち圧力
く容器が何らかの既存を受けているということを意味しているんですけれども。あの我々とあの原子力安全委員会との見解はあの特にことは異なならないとそこはないと思います、えー、その理由はあの私が申し上げたのは、えー、圧力容器の中で燃料に触れた水が、えー、蒸気などの形をとって格納容器に出てで格納容器の一部にサプレッションプールがありますのでそこが既存していればそれがそのままあの外に出てくるということになりますから。核の容器を経由しているけれども、結局はその燃料に直接触れた水があの外に出ているということになります。Uh, no, I don't think there is any difference、uh, between uh, my uh, interpretation and the view of the Nuclear Safety Commission. The reason is because uh, I, uh, I mentioned uh, that uh, uh, the fuel Uh, that uh, has come into contact, <laughs> sorry, the water that has come into contact、uh, with the fuel in the pressure vessel uh, will um, uh, probably uh, uh, have has, uh, moved uh, to the、uh, containment vessel in the form of steam.、Uh, and since、uh, the suppression chamber, which is part of the、uh, containment vessel, uh, uh, were uh, Damaged,、uh, it would flow outside、uh, for that reason. And therefore, the,、uh, the water that has directly come into contact、uh, with the fuel、uh, has flowed outside via、uh, the containment vessel. Okay, Mr. Shannon, could you also address that? Is that your interpretation too, that it was steam and not water flowing from the pressure vessel?、Yeah. 先ほどお配りした資料にも書いてありますが、圧力容器の中の水がどうやって格納容器、あるいはその外に出たかというそのパスについては原子力安全委員会は何も特定していないとそこは何らかの経路でというふうにこのペーパーにも書いてありますですから今西山新官がおっしゃったシナリオというのは一つの可能性のあるシナリオだと思います、uh, As is written in the、uh, document that I have distributed to you、uh, today Uh, the Nuclear Safety、uh, Commission does not specify、uh, through which path or through which route uh, the water uh, in the pressure chamber uh, flowed out uh, to either uh, the uh, containment uh, vessel uh, or uh, the outside.、Uh, and we just mentioned that、uh, the water in the pressure vessel uh, uh, flowed uh, into the containment vessel. Through some route. In the scenario that was just described a moment ago、uh, by Mr. Nishiyama, we consider is one possible scenario. My name is Sao Shiro from Reuters. I have a question for Mr. Nishiyama.、Um, can you please explain in simple terms what a trench is and what purpose they serve?、Um, can they be considered tunnels? and、um, Are they sealed? In other words,、um, are, they, are the contents inside the trenches able to come into contact with the air outside? Thank you. Reuters, the case of the Nishiyama Shinika, and 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 the case of the Nishiyama s で完全にその密閉されたものなんでしょうか、すなわちトレンチの内部に存在するものが、外の空気と触れることはできるんでしょうかあのおっしゃる通りのトンネルのようなものです、それはそれまで土に埋められていた配管をメンテナンスを容易にするために、トンネルの中に収めたというものです。Uh, yes, it is like a tunnel, as you say. Uh, and uh, uh, what it is is essentially、uh, the pipes,、uh, which until then used to be、uh, submerged in the soil,、uh, has uh, uh, been, ha now takes、uh, the shape of a tunnel、uh, so that、uh, the maintenance will be easier to do. So, the tunnel is not a あのトンネルの壁はコンクリートでできた上に、一応その塗料が塗ってあります。Uh, and 
the walls of the tunnel are made of concrete and it is painted over as well. So, あの、あの、早く抜いてしまうことだと思っています。uh, and as a result, flow into the sea, and also uh, we want to prevent it uh, from being uh, absorbed uh, underground. And the best way uh, to do that, we consider, uh, is uh, to pump out uh, the stagnant water from the turbine building uh, as soon as possible. Thank you. Pan Orient News. I, I have a question for the uh, Minister of Health official. You said that you found uh, traces below the limit in food like meat and, and fish. So do you mean you found radiation in these uh, products because of the problem and these radiation uh, samples, these radiation like numbers, are uh, below the limit or you didn't find any radiation in that food. And if I may, just a quick question for Mr. Nishiyama. I heard many times uh, you saying that the tsunami was unexpectedly big. So how much, how many meters the station, nuclear station was designed to, uh, to resist? Like did you expect tsunami of two meters only or three meters? So what meters you were in your plans とレジスト津波、え、そうえ、それとあの、もう Uh, perhaps uh, the, my explanation uh, earlier was not uh, accurate. Actually, uh, the test result of, for fish, meat, and eggs, uh, the no ra radionuclides were detected. No, and the. Okay. Because, えっと、今私、正確な数字を覚えてませんけれども、え、少なくても、あの、10 
uh, I believe, uh, a tsunami of uh, some, somewhere below 10 meters uh, was the level that was expected. Uh, but the tsunami uh, that uh, we had this time was far beyond uh, that number. Let, let me just... Uh At least 40 meters. At least 40 meters. Let me just uh, uh, supplement what uh, uh, our colleagues from MHLW, MHLW mentioned regarding uh, uh, marine products. Um, in the area of uh, sea uh, of uh, Fukushima Prefecture, uh, there are no uh, fishing activities uh, being conducted, uh, including uh, those uh, uh, fisher fishermen from uh, Fukushima, Miyagi, or Iwate, uh, you know, or other uh, surrounding uh, or nearby prefectures. Um, and there, there are um, some uh, uh, fishing activities uh, that could be uh, conducted uh, in the uh, contiguous uh, waters of uh, Fukushima Prefecture. But uh, based on uh, instruction from uh, MHLW, uh, there is going to be monitoring of uh, uh, the, based on the uh, provisional uh, limit uh, values. So based on uh, uh, confirming the safety of uh, those uh, marine products, uh, there uh, could be resumption uh, of uh, fishing activities. And, um, um, the Chiba Prefecture uh, came up with an uh, announcement uh, uh, last uh, uh, Thursday and Friday. And uh, uh, i just give you uh, some of the examples. Uh, uh, last Thursday, uh, the splendid uh, uh, Afonsino uh, was uh, uh, sampled and uh, there was no, uh, nothing found. On Friday, uh, uh, Pacific mackerel, squid, uh, flounder, there was no uh, uh, the cesium uh, found. And um, uh, the only uh, uh, identifiable uh, value was found for uh, anchovy, which is a uh, 3.0 uh, bec becquerel uh, per, per kilogram. Uh, but uh, as far as uh, the, the provisional uh, limit values for fish is concerned, it is uh, 500 becquerel. Uh, per uh, kilogram. And uh, again, let me just mention that uh, uh, the anchovy was 3.0 uh, in comparison to 500 becquerel. Thank you. Sorry, Henry Trix from The Economist. Uh, I just want to ask you about the longevity of this. Uh, we've had uh, radiation now seeping out um, in high and low doses for, um, for a couple of weeks now. And you're he increasingly hearing talk of this going on for, for m further weeks more, perhaps even months. Um, I wonder what the cumulative damage is. What's the biggest risk of a very long-term scenario here? And do you have any thought for capping the nuclear power plant with a giant tent or something like that? エコノミストのものですけれども、この問題がどの程度続くのかということに関してなんですけれども、えー、あのまあ放射能レベルが低かろうと高かろうと、放射能がじわじわ流れ出してから、流れ始めてからもう2週間経ちます、えー、でさらに何週間も続く、あるいは何,何ヶ月単位で続くという話もだんだん聞かれてきてるんですけれども。この長期的なに続いた場合のリスクの可能性というのはどのようなものなんでしょうか、すなわち、累計的な損害というのはどういったリスクの可能性が考えられるんでしょうか、それと原子力発電所全部をなんかあのテントかなんかで全部覆ってしまうというようなことはお考えにならないんでしょうか。あの今、えー、リスクのあると思う部分についてはすべ、えー、てあの対応していると思っています。<笑>あの直接放射線放射能を浴びると思われる地域からはあの人々に避難を促しておりますし
それからあの食べると危険があったりするものについてはあの、えー、かなり保守的にあのそういうものを制限する行動もでを取っていますそういう意味であのこの行動を取っていく限りではあのその周りの方々への長期的な影響というのはあの、まあ、一時的にこの自分のこれまで住んでいた場所を離れなければいけないという、まあ、非常につらい思いがあるというのは分かりますがそれを別途すればあのこの放射線における影響というのはあの今最小限に食い止められていると思います。Uh, I believe uh, that uh, uh, any uh, uh, risk uh, there may be have all been dealt with.、Uh, for instance, we have been urging、uh, evacuation in residents in areas uh, that uh, uh, may uh, be affected uh, by uh, the radiation uh, directly. And uh, also, uh, we have、uh, taken action uh, that will limit.、Uh, From a very conservative uh, uh, level, uh, uh, any, anything uh, that we consider uh, uh, there are any risks of,、uh, to ingesting uh, that uh, product.、Uh, so, as long as、uh, these actions are being taken,、uh, there we do not、uh, foresee any long term effect. Uh, uh, to the people、uh, that are living in the surrounding areas, except for over the short term, it may be hard、uh, on the residents of the area、uh, to have to leave、uh, an area that they have become accustomed to living.、Uh, but besides that, uh, uh, we believe uh, we, are a- we are able、uh, to keep any effect from the, radi-、uh, from, uh, the radiation、uh, to the minimum. あの今やるべきことは、えー、安全に低温状態に原子炉、それから使用済み燃料プールをとどめる、持っていくということであります、えー、それに向けて全力を挙げるわけで、えー、まずそこにあのそ全力を挙げる必要があると思っています。Uh, what we should be doing at the moment, uh, is... Uh, to bring、uh, the reactor itself、uh, and the spent fuel、uh, pool uh, to a uh, safe uh, state, uh, uh, eventually leading to a cold shutdown. And I think what is important at the moment is to do everything we can in order to be able to do so. I'm afraid that we have to conclude, and, and、uh, there will be a last question from you. Hello, Mir j a k i of the Financial Times. A question for Mr. Shikata and Mr. Nishiyama, I think.、Um, it's been revealed today that the president of TEPCO has been indisposed for a considerable period、um, through this crisis. And I would like to ask、uh, w- did TEPCO inform the,、um, NISA and the government about his indisposition?、Uh, do you think it affected TEPCO's ability to respond to this crisis at all? And are you confident that he is now well enough to continue in his position? Thank you. Financial Times もですけれども、四方さん、および西山さんに伺いたいんですけれども、私どもの聞いているところでは、東電の社長は、あのこの危機、が起こったことに対して、非常に、なんて言うんでしょうか、その平常心を失っているというふうに聞いているんですけれども、そ,あのそれに対して、東電はその,その点に関して、あの現職保安院並びに政府にきちんと伝達があったんでしょうか、そして社長がそういう状態であったということは、東電がこの危機的な状態に対する対応能力、に影響があったとお考えでしょうか、そして現在の東電の社長は、社長としての立場を今後も継続するだけ、ちゃんとお元気でいらっしゃるんでしょうか、えっと、あの私は今日あの東郷本部という東京電力に設置されたあのこの全体の戦略を練る
あの会議に出てまいりましたけどもそこにあの清水社長はあのちゃんと出ておられてあのしっかり、えー、全体把握しておるということを私は見ておりますので今の点についてはあの心配ないと思っております。Uh, actually, I saw with my own eyes、uh, that President Shimizu、uh, was uh, present uh, uh, at the、uh, integrated headquarters,、uh, which is located、uh, in the、uh, typical building uh, and uh, discusses uh, and draws up a strategy.、Uh, and I saw、uh, pres President Shimizu. Uh, attending the meetings、uh, in the integrated headquarters, and、uh, he has、uh, good knowledge、uh, and grasp of the overall situation. あ東電の社長はその統合本部にいらっしゃらなかったと思うんですけれども、その期間に関してはあのどうですか。えっと、私はその期間のことについてあの詳しくはあの聞かされておりませんがあの、まあ、誰でもあの、えーまあ、11日に地震が起こってそれから、えー、ほとんど不眠不休で働いた後あの多少の休養を取ってからまた次の戦略を練るということになるのはあのやむを得ないことがあるんじゃないかと思います。Uh, but for anybody、uh, who has been working、uh, without any sleep or rest、uh, since the earthquake occurred on the 11th of March, I believe uh, uh, it cannot be helped uh, that uh, that person、uh, might choose to take some rest uh, before uh, he moves on、uh, to developing the next strategy. And let me just uh, supplement uh, that uh, uh, as you are aware,、uh, in order to Work、uh, very closely、uh, between the government and TEPCO. We have uh, uh, established joint headquarters, and uh, uh, actual <coughs> headquarters itself is located inside the headquarters of TEPCO. And uh, uh, so we are uh, attentive uh, to the need for working very closely, sharing information simultaneously, and come up with a joint response. So、uh, we, we have been trying to do that. and、uh, Uh, I believe that、uh, TEPCO and the Japanese government are,、uh, have you know, a meeting of minds in terms of the need、uh, to tackle the situation jointly. Thank you. Okay, then uh, let us uh, conclude, uh, uh, conclude this uh, evening's uh, press briefing, and uh, uh, I assume that we'll be holding、uh, this kind of、uh, briefings uh, again uh, tomorrow. Thank you very much for coming.